For those who believe, no words are necessary. For those who do not believe, no amount of words are sufficient. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day as the current is now flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love, directly into our hearts, connecting us, one family, right across the globe. On this gorgeous day here, we have deep blue skies, the colour of the Casa. And for those of us who know these white cotton wool fluffy clouds of the Abijania skyscape, totally mystical, passing slowly by, reminding us of our impermanence and that all things pass, all things are impermanent and we are just travellers here on earth. And the reason why the casa is coloured blue and white is because Dom Ignacio came to me to drown a vision and said, these are the colours that are meant to be here. 
and God coloured the sky blue for comfort and the sky unites us and it is the colour of Mary, her mantle, her love, her protection for all of us and she was Dominacio's favourite saint and it's just white is the spectrum of all colours so there is a bigger picture and a reason for everything so wherever you are in the world relax if you're lying down great if you're under a crystal bed super and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current feet firmly on the ground to ground us don't cross your body in any way be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras pouring forth from our open hearts now connecting us brothers and sisters in the light right across the globe in this sacred moment and put a glass of water beside you this is blessed and we drink it at the end of the world to nourish us mind body and spirit and as we close our physical eyes which is totally necessary for this divine work the best sight is insight we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses problems difficulties and we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is we are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around we're not the body we're much more than we could ever imagine the body merely houses our eternal spirits And we have an infinite amount of help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love working with Christ consciousness, which is all about love and forgiveness and peace and all the good stuff. And these entities are with us 24 seven. And today we revisit with this extraordinary, gorgeous, highly vibrational co-patron of the Casa, Dom Ignacio, St. Ignatius of Viola. And he is working with St. John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin, and working together in the Casa. They're both co-patrons. So it's a sharing of divine love light. And he is amazing. And if anybody told me 20 years ago that I would be talking about Dom Ignacio, at least alone praying, I would say they were mad because I'm the most le least likely person to be associated with holy beings and saints or back in the day. I was in Montserrat before I came to Abigenia and I didn't even make the connection with Tom Ignacio and the sacred ground of Montserrat until I was here a few months. So I really was asleep. And Tom Ignacio is a very, very powerful entity indeed. He went from soldier to pilgrim to mystic to healer and to leader. So he's the most unlikely saint. He was a very flawed character and he came from a very wealthy background. And of course he was very, very fond of the finer things of life and he was a hothead. And wine, women and song were his goal in life. And he was even arrested for gambling. So back in the day, he really was out there in the world doing all the stuff that was illegal <laughs> and just living his life. And he was a general in the army in his late twenties, which is a very big honor. He was a fierce warrior and he didn't get there by being nice. He killed a lot of people. Um, he was famous on the battlefield for um, being a killing machine. So there is hope for us all yet. He really did uh, live his life to the full. And he was from a very noble family. And he really did resist. It was a wound to his uh, right knee with a cannonball in the Battle of Pamplona back over 500 years ago that brought him literally to his knees and he was sent to his castle in Laola to recuperate and there he became 
more enlightened. His path was very, very rocky. He almost died a few times. There was no anesthetic. He had his leg rebroken twice and stretched. He was so vain, he didn't want to live limp in front of the girls as a lord of the court because he was very fond of wine, women and song. And he really did suffer enormously and he was privileged so he could read. And he had at his disposal the imitation of Christ and the life of the saints. He was particularly taken by St. Francis of Assisi and his conversion about three or four hundred years before this. So the more he read, the more he discerned that they were two completely different spirits opposed to one another, acting within the human psyche. There was truth and falsehood. There was light and darkness. There was Christ and the devil. So in each and every moment we have a choice. And Don Ignacio teaches us how to discern what is from the good spirits and what is from the not so good spirits. And he encourages us to pray, always within the expansiveness of the Christ consciousness. As he went on to found the Jesuits with another enormously highly vibrational entity of the Casa, St. Francis Xavier, both incorporated. They were responsible for founding the Company of Jesus, walking literally in the footsteps of Jesus and multiplying the teachings of Jesus on earth. So we turn now in our moments of need to this amazing co-patron of the Casa, Dom Ignacio, St. Ignatius of Viola, always with us. So compassionate and kind and patient and has the utmost dedication to our well-being. And as he really did have visions of Christ and started walking the path least travelled, he reminds us that when two or more are called in his name, Jesus will be with us. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we navigate these challenging times on earth, let us really try to see with the eyes of Christ. We're not perfect beings yet, but we can make a difference and never see a need without doing something about it. We're all in this together. And we ask the Prince of Peace to plant this seed of harmony and peace in our hearts, the peace beyond all understanding, and to allow it to multiply and grow and pour forth into our families, which are also battlefields, as we all well know, and into our towns and communities. Again, I don't know how it happened, but there seems to be battles everywhere. And into our countries, with all of the problems of the modern world, and let us just take this time now and ask Jesus, the light of the world, to go to all war zones, particularly to our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine, to help to alleviate all of this unnecessary suffering. And in particular, to penetrate into the minds and the hearts and the souls of the warmongers, to help them to awaken to our divine connection, where all brothers and sisters in the light, no exceptions. Remembering the words of Jesus on the cross, forgive them God for they know not what they do. As we say the Lord's Prayer, translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. O breathing life, your name shines everywhere. Release a space to plant your presence here. Envision your I can now. Embody your desire in every light and form. 
grow to us this moment's bread and wisdom. Untie the knots of errors binding us as we release the strands we hold of others' faults. Help us not to forget our source. Liberate us from not living in this present moment. From you arises every vision, power and song. From gathering to gathering. May our future actions grow from here. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. Dom Ignacio in his recuperation in his casa in Castle in Loyola in Spain had many visions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He had nothing but respect and great love and Mary was his favourite saint. And it was to Our Lady of Montserrat in Spain that Tom Ignacio surrendered his sword and his dagger, everything, changing his entire way of life, leading by example, handing everything over to the Madonna. In utter trust, faith, hope and love becoming a soldier for the Christ Consciousness, helping us on our paths to connect with the Christ Consciousness and our Divine Mother Mary, who encourages us always to pray for peace. We invoke the Great Mother, Father and Holy Spirit sacred trinity of innumerable names. We invoke you, lady of medicine, healer of all infirmities. We invoke you, queen of the universes, heavens, seas and lands. We invoke you, sovereign of spirituality, so that your light may descend upon us all and illuminate our paths. Amen.
Love is shown more in deeds than in words. These words of Dom Ignacio ring true in his lifetime. And right down through the ages, 
They are really the essence of the Casa de Dominacio. As I arrived there 19 years ago, I saw a lot of people with little blue jackets on who were volunteers at the Casa. And on the back in Portuguese it said, how may I serve you? And they never saw a need without doing something about it. Sometimes they just whisked my sister off in her wheelchair. I mean, I had to go running after them to bring her to the top of the line or to bring her down to the crystal beds. There was always action when it came to helping people. And this was a beautiful example after coming from a world where people didn't seem to care much for each other or be neighbourly. Arriving in the casa was so refreshing because everyone was helping everyone with no hidden agenda. So certainly it was all about good deeds as opposed to telling everyone what good deeds you were doing. And Don Ignacio, about seven years ago, said for his anniversary on the 31st of July every year, he said, I'm calling all my children back together again here in the Casa in Abijania. And I would like 55 flags from the countries that are represented here so that when people come they will see their flags and they will know this is their home. So we managed all of this and in five different languages there were signs as you walked into the current room. Welcome sons and daughters from all over the world. And there were God moments as there was a Mexican wave of tears. People didn't even know what they were crying for. But Don Ignacio always brings the tears of Christ, the lagrimas, the Cristo. And even in his bust in the centre of the casa, his cheeks are etched with tears. And we are reminded that tears are 1% water and 99% emotion. And there is a great cleansing, healing energy in tears. And Dom Ignacio had the gift of tears. In fact, he cried so much in his later life. He'd never cry as a soldier or a general. But as he progressed along the path, he didn't feel consolation unless he cried as he said mass and in fact he thought he was going to lose his eyesight by crying so much and there was a great release happening when we let go of our emotional state it is a very deep cleansing energy and at the beginning of every current you may remember that there was a prayer in Portuguese to Dom Ignacio, which I played today. Let us pray this really powerful high vibration in English, reminding us how greatly loved we are by Dom Ignacio and how we are all welcomed home, always, with love and compassion, faith, hope, charity, forgiveness, peace. Dom Ignacio, you are the fountain that protects the seekers, the light and the wisdom. You are the hands that assist, that heal and guide us. You bring words that comfort us and fill us with powerful healing energy. You bring the strength that makes us see in the dark, the light of the coming day. You are the enlightened road that shows us the direction and the path to take. 
and you make us feel safe with no fear of walking alone. Thank you for this ability and opportunity to be able to sit together, sons and daughters of the Casa, in the current and multiply the highest vibration of love light we possibly can in this troubled world. When we search thee, we fly like a bird. Dom Ignacio, envoy of the Creator, taking your children to the nest. We are happy to hear your advice, to count on your message. We want to be a sheep in your flock and in your pasture. We want to see the divine light reflecting your image. And when the storm comes, we want to wait for the dry weather in your shelter. We want to follow the destiny that your hand indicates. We want to enter the channel that plunges us into the immensity to give the first steps to join your legion. To listen to your words, to learn these new lessons. Dom Ignacio, preacher of Christ's words, demonstration of humbleness, our present example of love and kindness. Reward us with the distinction of your presence and your charity. Scatter in our darkness the seeds of truth. Lead our way through the roads of faith. And always follow our footsteps and the imprints of our feet. Crossing the deserts where Mary and Joseph walked, leading us towards the King, Jesus of Nazareth. And so be it. Amen.
Ignacio is a very complex character. Very flawed. And he too went through his dark night of the soul, just like the rest of us. And he wrote extensively. He was very bright. And he said, if God sends you many sufferings, it is a sign that he has great plans for you and certainly wants to make you a saint. I'm not sure if we will become saints in this lifetime, but certainly there's no saint without a past and no sinner without a future. And Don Ignacio reckoned that if he could do it, anyone could do it. And as his conversion was well underway and he had given up his fine clothes and retreated into a cave in Manrasa after surrendering his sword and his dagger, all of it, to Our Lady in Montserrat in Spain, he was tempted, just like our brother Jesus in the desert. And he went through his dark night of the soul He was tempted to commit suicide. It would have been easier for him to throw himself in the river Cardona outside his cave rather than face his demons. But he truly contemplated this. And he realized that only God can give and take life. So he continued on his path. And he trusted in the divine plan. He felt that if anyone could become a saint, he was not really a candidate because he had sinned so much in his earlier life. And he was racked with guilt and sleepless nights. And he realized that knowing God is much more important than knowing about God. So he walked his path in prayer and trust and he wrote the spiritual exercises starting in this cave in Manrasa which is very very relevant in today's life time about discernment and about how to live in love and service for the greater glory of God. He was a very very cosmic being indeed. Dom Ignacio used to look up into the night sky and wonder at the amazing gifts of creation that we all receive every moment of our earthly lives. And all the stars shining in the sky reminded him of all of his Jesuit friends all over the world. It broke his heart to send his good friend out, St. Francis Xavier, another amazing entity of the Casa, saying to him, go out and set the world on fire as he went off to pierce the Great Wall of China with love of the teachings of the Christ Consciousness. The Apostle of the East. And they wrote to each other a lot. Very beautiful letters of compassion and love and friendship. And Dom Ignacio reminds us that we need to have gratitude for all of our lives, this gift of creation we have been given, through our highs and our lows. It's all part of the mystery of life and part of the divine within us, a baptism of fire, if you like. And we all experience suffering. But when we trust, have faith, and know that the hand of God is in everything. And we will see through to the other side. Already the world is emerging into a whole new, beautiful earth paradigm of love and light. After the uncertainty and the dismay of the pandemic. So let us just reflect on these words 
from Dom Ignacio's spiritual exercises, reminding us to give thanks in every moment to God. I look at my world. Everything cooperates to continue to give me life and strength. I look at the whole support system of air and water, warmth and coolness, light and darkness, all the produce of the earth, all the works of human hands. Absolutely everything contributes to my well-being. I think of the people who have prayed for me and who love me. The whole communion of saints has interest in my salvation and actively works to try to help me. How can I respond to a God so good to me? and surrounding me with the goodness of holy men and women and all the wonderful gifts of creation. All I can do is to give thanks, wondering at God's forgiving love, which continues to give me life up unto this very moment. And so be it. Amen.
as we rejoice in this gorgeous Tommy Massio energy pouring forth from the portal of the casa into our open hearts. This wonderful highest of vibration so needed now on earth. Let us relax into our physical bodies and be open to receive now. As you give, so it be given you. Keeping your eyes closed to the end of the work. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall. Like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. And here at the waterfall at the Casa, known as the waterfall of Lazarus, every time we go there, we are renewed, reborn, refreshed and recharged to go forth and set the world on fire, in Dom Ignacio's words. And there is a bust in the waterfall, in front of the waterfall, with Dom Ignacio looking heavenwards as he is becoming enlightened on his path. So we always look up towards the heavens when we are praying. That's our true home. And all of these beautiful gifts in the waterfall, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. The move is on. We're well, well on the way now. We are coming into this highest of vibrational worlds now. Keep choosing love. It's only a choice between love and fear, and fear is a thief of your peace. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. And bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on Earth in this moment in time and space. Right here, right now. This is a reunion. We've all come through lifetimes to this very moment and we have a job to do and we're jo doing it and we're surrendering anything and everything that no longer serves us to make this ascension into this beautiful world just right there in front of us in plain sight. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all alone. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal. Dom Ignacio is brilliant when you ask him to help. He experienced his dark night of the soul. He was tempted to commit suicide. And he didn't. He will help anyone who is desperate, desolate, feeling abandoned, unloved, unwanted, anxious, frustrated. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps, we're all children of God, no exceptions, they need to be liberated now. And let us just take this moment, it's very important and necessary, to nurture that seed of peace in our hearts, to help it to grow the peace beyond all understanding, to pour forth from our open hearts into our families, which are battlegrounds. Nobody better can push our buttons than our families, our friends, into our communities, our countries. And let's take this beautiful high vibration of peace and bring it to all war zones, particularly in the Ukraine now. And again and again I say, remember the words of Jesus on the cross. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Let us ask for this peace to penetrate deep into the hearts and souls of the warmongers, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. And 
let's bring medium to our into this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the chasm. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, these crystal clear waters from the Cachoeira of Lazarus, the Casa de Dominacio, penetrating deep, deep into our souls, taking away all miasmas, all discomfort, dis-ease, disharmony in all of our bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Healing is a work in progress. We need to intentionally surrender anything, everything that no longer serves us, liberating ourselves, letting go, just as Dom Ignacio taught us. As we emerge cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the light, the core of our being, standing, smiling, sparkling, happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends, and new friends, no more grudges, resentments, everyone is together working our way out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. And when you think you've surrendered enough, surrender some more. Dom Ignacio is with us. Let us pray his prayer of surrender to help us to elevate ourselves, to evolve on our paths. That's what we're here for. And boy, are we on the move into an amazing new earth of love light. Lord Jesus Christ, take and receive all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me with love and with love I surrender it all to be guided by your will your grace and your wealth and your love are enough for me give me these Lord Jesus Christ and I ask for nothing more Amen.
And as we rejoice and bask in this beautiful, cleansing healing energy we are receiving now from the cashmere of the Casa de Dominacio and the vibration of Saint Ignatius, who is right there looking skywards into the heavens. Our final destination. We are entitled to gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together in this wonderful collective consciousness. One family under the banner of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. As we take our example from Don Ignacio, who walked the path of delight, but only after going to his dark night of the soul. He was living by faith and not by sight. He knew that God is all loving, all compassionate. And he really did lead by example. And he is with us every step of the journey. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels. And we have St. Michael working with us, fighting our battles here with us on earth and in the spiritual planes with his sword of light. And we're on the winning side. And all of these ascended masters, unseen beings, and these phenomenal entities of light and love, so many working with us tirelessly, helping us in these troubling times on earth now. And both co-patrons of the Casa, John the Baptist, amazing, working with Dom Ignacio, down there at the waterfall, and always when we call upon them, they are with us. And really, the incredible teachings of the spiritual exercises are so relevant today. Discernment in all things, and always staying on the side of delight. Choosing love. It's just as simple as that. It's only a choice between love and fear, and fear is the thief of our peace. And we are love and we are light. That is all, all there is as we ascend together into this beautiful world where there's no more pain and suffering. It is there for each and every one of us. And thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, the light of the world, and all of the Christ consciousness, which is all about love, forgiveness, peace, gratitude, compassion, harmony, all the good stuff. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, whom Dom Ignacio was his favourite saint, and he surrendered his sword and his dagger to Our Lady in Montserrat in Spain, handing everything over in total trust, knowing that he would be guided home. Their sacred hearts are beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, to realize that life is all so short, the blink of an eye, and we've been here so many times before, so many lifetimes to this very moment, and we all know each other, whether we know it or not, and we have a job to do down here, and it's not easy right now, and these lessons in the school of life are hard, and they will be repeated until they are learned, but we have so much help available. And when our earthly life is over, our mission complete and certainly we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there is no more suffering, pain. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together, this wonderful collective consciousness, now in our third year of live currents. Can you believe it? Tempest Fugit, thank you for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk this path. God always gives us the back to bear the burden. We can do no wrong when we're on the side of the light. 
Thank you for your faith, your hope, your humility, your patience, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Written on the walls of the entities room in English and in Portuguese to remind us how to navigate the human condition. Put one step in front of the other. Love and service. The motto of Dom Ignacio and St. Francis Xavier are always with us for the greater glory of God. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change we need to see in the world. One heart at a time. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We've nothing to lose but our chains. Never see a need without doing something about it. Nothing can harm a hair on your head. We rise by lifting others. We're all in this together, just walking each other home. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trustingly, faithfully, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in always as we surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. As we absorb these beautiful words of Dom Ignacio, telling us of God's infinite love for us. God's love shines down upon us like the light rays of the sun. God's love is poured forth lavishly like a fountain spilling forth its waters in an unending stream. God's delight and joy is to be with the one called God's children, to be with us. God cannot do enough to speak out and show love for us, his children, ever calling us to a fuller and better life, a sharing in divine, eternal life. Amen. May peace prevail on earth. And may peace prevail in all hearts and souls. And so be it. Love, loving, love. Namaste.